Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for part 2 of the quarterfinal round. And yes, if part 1 was anything to go by, then these next two matches will blow you us all away. So yes, in our first matchup, we will see Lauren Steele going up against MEGP10, a rematch from the group stage. And then Ratchet taking a crack at our champ, Ultima Dino Kit. So yeah, let's not dilly-dally, let's get on with our first matchup. And there's not much to say here, since these two have already played each other in this tournament. Skip! Right, in the red corner, for Lauren Steele, we have Super Paris. This Super Paris has pretty much been the MVP for this team in this tournament so far. And it's definitely done its work, fair share of work. And, I should point out, just like in their third matchup in the group stage, this Paris, Super Paris, will have the type advantage over the Alpha Kentra. Speak of the devil, is Alpha Kentra. With Lauren Seal's first ever win at, at a tournament was against Emmy JB10. Can she make it two out of two? Or can Emmy get some revenge? I'm thinking Lauren's gonna make it two out of two. But you never know, you never know. Ah, oh, well, there is Emmy JB10 landing the first hit. There's a tie bomb. That's once. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, there's a green impulse. Well, that's good for Lauren, but that tie bomb will explode, so MEJB 10 won't come away empty handed. In terms of damage, they will land some damage with that tie bomb. It's twice. Oh, it's a crit. Big damage coming. And now it's a wait, wait time. Oh, it's a hit. Well, it's kind of a waste because the Kendra was going to die anyway. But just like in their first matchup, Lauren Steele has a 1 0 lead. In fact, in their first matchup, I think she was 2 0 out. So that can this Pentaceratops have any better luck this time against Paris? Or will Paris make it 2-0 again? Like you gotta say, for Emmy JP Pet to get this far, given how bad they did in the last tournament, they they can walk away from this tournament with a lot of pride. And they could be really happy with how well they've done. Oh, that's a tie. You know, even if they lose this match. They can be really happy with what they've done. However, I'm sure they would like to get back into this. Paris starting to pull away, and it keeps going rock to stop Pentaceratops from getting hits with its crit because of the Dino Stuffer. That's cheap tactics, that is. Very cheap. Very, very, very cheap. Well, can't do that anymore. Oh, but you can get a crit off anyway. I think, I think this is going to be the exact same as their first matchup, isn't it? Or maybe not! MEJP10 taking out Paris with Pentaceratops! So Lauren will not be 2-0 up. I mean, she basically is 2-0 up because the Pentaceratops is on like no health. <laughs> and is in killing range of this Carnotaurus. But can can any chip away at this Karna with Pentaceratops before it inevitably dies? Or what will probably happen is that the Carnotaurus will get the next hit and kill Pentaceratops. Yep, yeah, just as I said, Carnotaurus killing Pentaceratops, and Lauren will be two one up. Right, now for Emmy's third and final dino, the Super Baryonics. I should point out that Emmy was in this situation before against Adolf Adams, well, similar to this, and pulled it back, so do not count them out yet. Mm. 
Ooh, the Baryonyx gets the first pick. It's a Kamikaze Tackle. Boosh! Once. Ooh, no ninja attack though. No ninja attack at all. No way fly either. Oh, another tie. Although, I don't mind that because the ties do chip away at the Baryonyx's health. But, the Carnotaurus is down. And all of a sudden, MEJB10 right back in the mix. And they still have the Awaken mode to use as well, so... Lauren might be in trouble here. Well, they haven't had to use this very much in the knockout rounds, but they're going to have to use it this time. Can Emmy win it? Well, this stirs things up. Next round will be a week, week time. And it's panic time for Lauren. Is her time up in this tournament? Now it's time to panic. Emmy GP10, what a chance this is to win. Oh, is it time? Is that enough? Whoa! Very clinging on, they need this hit. No, that's game over! MEJP10 is in the. S oh no, it's revival type! It's not over! <laughs> oh, this is crazy! Oh, Lauren gets it! <laughs> Somehow, car cut. Who gets this next hit is going to win. But, as I said, the odds are in Emmy's favour because a tie will be enough. Oh, there's a tie. That's enough to win it. And the ferry this time goes down. And Emmy GP10 gets revenge. And books their place in the semi final. Well, you got to say, can they win it? Can they go all the way to win it? Well, whoever they get in the semi-final is going to be another tough match. And they pro they'll probably be underdogs again. But underdogs know how to bite. As for Lauren Steele, well, kind of an upset there because I didn't expect that. I thought, I thought she was going to win this match. But just couldn't, just couldn't finish the job. And yep. That is MEGP10, Fruit of the Semis. But for their first tournament, I think Lauren can be happy with how she done. You know, quarterfinal finish. Take that. Take that all day long in your first tournament. So they did. They definitely did really well. So they get a pat on the back. But as for MEGP10, going from strength to strength. And again, you know, you've got to beg the question. Start to ask the question. Can they win it? Right. On to our final matchup of the quarterfinal round, which sees Ratchet going up against Ultima Dino King. Right, the OLED. Ooh, we've got a clash in the Coliseum. Fit in for this last quarterfinal matchup. In the red corner for Ratchet, we have a Tyrannosaurus. It has the Death Fire. I don't think Ratchet's got a Death Fire in this tournament yet. Will today be the day? Well, you'll probably need it. Because in the blue corner for our champ Ultima Dino King, it is Karanosaurus. As I said, a death fire would be lovely for Ratchet to get off in this match. It set him up nicely to get to book a semi-final place, but make no mistake, this will be his toughest match yet in this tournament because he's taking on Ultima Dino King. Ooh, ooh, good start there from Ratchet, getting the first hit. Ooh, but the Emerald Garden has been triggered. Oh, the Emerald Garden going off. <laughs> well, there goes Ratchet's good start because the Coronasaurus is going to fully heal and the T-Rex is going to take damage. Look at this. Well, there goes Ratchet's lead. And the Coronasaurus doesn't fully heal, but it basically... Oh, now it does, because it gets off nature's blessing. 
Well, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Oop, oop, oop. There's a tie. No green impulse, though. Oh, another tie. No green impulse. I mean, I'm not too surprised, to be honest. Well, Ratchet determined to get off a crit here. But these ties do help ultimate out because it stops the death fire from getting triggered. There, happy now, you got your crit. So yes, after all that, it is Ratchet who has the one nil lead. Oh dear, I've never seen someone so determined to get off a crit. Say like, no, you gotta let me get off my crit. Well, ultimate second dino here. Is it dark? Super dark here. And well, the persistent paid off. Persistence paid off there. <laughs> but they got the crit in the end. Oh, oh, the tie. No sand trap, though. Hey, finally the T-Rex. Well, I don't want to say finally, but finally somebody gets ahead. And Ultimate pulls it back. <laughs> well, well. Um, I think we are two hits apiece. Yeah, Ratchet got the first hit, then Ultimate got Animal Garden off, and then Ratchet got the crap, and then Ultimate got a hit. So yeah, two hits apiece. And we are level pecking. Well, Ratchet kind of has a slight lead because the Tarkia took damage, but it's not much of Come on, then! Ooh, open I guess the first hit this time, though. Will we see Earth Barrier? Earth Barrier could help Ultimate turn the screw in this match. Indeed, we do see Earth Barrier. Could that be what Ultimate needs to gain a lead? Well, to increase his lead. Ooh, another hit. Oh, not extending that lead. Looking good for our champ. Oh, it's a tie. There's the sand trap. Yeah, Ultimate has definitely turned the screw in this match and is now on top. Well, Ratchet kind of needs to get the next hit. Although it is a wake wake time for the top here as well. So, well, a tie here will put Ultimate well on top. Crucial that Ratchet gets this hit. Oh, it's a tie! It's the worst case scenario! The worst case scenario for Ratchet! Because now, Ultimate has a golden opportunity to hit away at this Spino. And a crit would pretty much almost kill it. Well, this is crucial. Ratchet has to get the next hit here. A tie will not be enough because Sand Trap will activate. I mean, the Spino will survive, but it'll take major damage. Ratchet needs this hit. If he does not get this hit, then I feel like Ultima is going to win this match comfortably. Oh, disaster! What a disaster! I mean, yeah, the Tarkia's health is half, but it's still got Earth Barrier. What a disaster for Ratchet! It's all gone wrong! Well, an Aqua Vortex, Light Recovery, could this be what Ratchet needs? But yeah, it's all gone wrong in a matter of minutes. Well, in a matter of two minutes, it's all gone wrong. I wonder, will the Earth Barrier disappear? I mean, it doesn't matter now, because the Tartier will, won't survive this hell. Well... To Ratchet's credit, they had a very shaky spell, but they're coming back. And the Spino didn't take as much damage as I thought it would with that crit. Right, now for Ultimate's third Dino, which is the Alpha Acro. Can Ultimate finish the job, or will Ratchet come back? That Aqua Vortex was crucial. Crucial Aqua Vortex. Ooh, Ultimate gets the first hit though. Boosh! 
with that attack boost ultimate is one attack away from winning. And yeah, there it is. You know, they, they showed a little bit of a fight for the fight back ratchet, but it just wasn't meant to be. And Ultima Dino King kind of convincingly going through to the semi-finals. Where they will have a match with MEJP10. Right, we will look at the brackets. And oh, well, I got loads of credits entered apparently, and we can end the session. They had a good run in this tournament, Ratchet, but taking on Ultima Dino King, just a bridge too far for them. And yeah, like, it, you know, it was an even match at the start, and Ratchet did have the lead at one point, but that Super Tarkia turned the screw massively for Ultima. And that Super Tarkia is the reason why Ultima got through. But you know, Ratchet had a good run in this tournament, a good, good, good wins. I think they can be happy with how they've done. As for Ultimate, it's one step closer to retaining that title. And honestly, like, th this would be the biggest shock in any tournament if MEJP10 wins this match. I'm not saying because, you know, it's Ultimate. You know, one, because Ultimate is the champ. You know, he's our reigning champ, tournament favourite. Two, but the actual matchup itself, he has a very favourable matchup against Emmy. Like, his first two dinosaurs have the type advantage over Emmy's first two dinosaurs. So, yeah. This would be the shock of the tour. This would be the shock of this tournament and pretty much any of my tournaments if Emmy was to win this match. As for this one, as for this matchup, well, pff, could go either way. But again, I feel like it's going to be Diddy and Ultimate in the final. And, you know, my money's on Diddy Darius. I'm going for Diddy Darius to win. So yeah, who do you think is going to win out of this lot? Out of these four? Pop a comment down below. And yes, until the semi-final round, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.